Hey everybody, James Yeager, Tech Response. Thanks for watching. Well, as, uh, as promised, my 30,000 mile review of my 2017 Street Glide. Um, I was hoping to have a 50,000 mile review done by now, but I've been busy this year. I've only put a few thousand miles on this year, about 2,000. And, uh, and as I film this in July, I hope to uh, put some more on it by the end of the year. Um, but let's just, uh, we can take a look just uh, cosmetically um, you can see on the forks there, let me get this thing turned down and zoom it in a little bit. You can see on the forks there, those things started chipping away or peeling away the, the, the first week I had it. And uh, hopefully they've got a better way to coat those things now. Uh, the, the bikes had a couple of uh, um, recalls that haven't been an issue. Um, I mean, I've got the, got the recalls done, but uh, they haven't caused me any issues or anything like that. Um, the, the horn fell off at, uh, at about 25,000 miles. The, the grips that came on it basically just melted and I got those changed. Um, I got the upgraded stereo put in here, the Harley one. I had an aftermarket one put in there and it sucked. Actually two aftermarket ones and they both sucked. So I got the Harley one. Um, there's something loose in the muffler. I reported it about uh, six weeks after I had the bike, but you could hear a rattling, and I didn't know what it was, but it was inside the muffler. And then when they when when they finally looked at it again, they realized it was inside the muffler, but it's out of warranty now, and the extended warranty doesn't cover it, and they don't sell those pipes anymore. So I got a rattle over there, whatever. Um, but um, it's never left me stranded. It's never broken down. It's not cheap to to operate, but none of them really are. Um, I've ridden them all. And so, uh, um, got the Mustang seat on there. That's a, that's, that's a necessary evil. I keep a battery tender on it all the time. Um, I don't know. I, uh, people like, I, I'm not in love with the bike and, uh, the, the, the Kawasaki Vaquero I had just before this one, 25,000 miles on it was awesome. This one, 30,000 miles on it. And I, I'm just not that impressed. It didn't have as much power as a Kawasaki. Uh, just wasn't as, as good a bike. And uh, so the question is often, will I buy another one? And I, I can't imagine me buying another Harley. Um, I tried to, tried to make America great again. I tried to do it. And it's not that I hate the bike. I don't hate the bike. The bike still runs and stuff. I still ride it, you know, but uh, I'm just, uh, you know, by 30,000 miles, I should be like, I should be loving the bike. and. I just don't, uh, it, uh, it's not, it's just not doing it for me. Um, I don't know. I guess I got spoiled by the power and smoothness of the Japanese bikes, but, uh, anyway, so 2017, 2017, 2017 street guide Clyde, just over 30,000 miles, uh, never left me broke down, but, uh, probably wouldn't buy another one. This is James J. for Tactical Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.